and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day so today we're going to be working outside on my front porch and we're going to be decorating it for spring so i did pick up some a few home decor pieces to decorate my front porch so i'm going to share that in a little mini haul as well to kind of give you guys an overview of some of the items that i picked up i will have everything listed down in the description box below if you guys are interested and i did actually pick up a new umbrella for my outdoor space or my backyard space so this portion of the video is sponsored by blue blue is a company that manufactures patio umbrellas so they sent me out their maple pro nine feet on um, patio umbrella and that's what i'm gonna unbox for you guys today or put together with you guys today now the patio umbrella i thought was pretty cool because they did come with a patio cover now this patio umbrella you can use it with or without a table but you do need to purchase the stand and the stand does come separate from the patio umbrella so you would need to purchase the stand separate just keep that in mind so this is the stand here and you can it is required that you fill it up with either water or sand meaning the base so that way it's pretty secure so i went ahead and filled mine up with sand off camera this is the pole Pole here is an aluminum pole and so it's very made of um, really good heavy material pretty sturdy and it comes with different size brackets for you to attach the pole to the base depending on what size umbrella that you have you will use a specific bracket for that um, for that particular umbrella but all you do is just screw it in at the bottom that's it and it clicks in it takes literally five minutes to put together so here i have the patio umbrella kind of semi expanded as you can see here how it fits on my patio i do love it because we really do needed some shade for that left side of the sofa to kind of shield us from the hot sun so it actually is works pretty well for my small space so i love the fabric on there it's really good material and then also inside of the patio umbrella it comes with a little velcro tab so if you want to add any patio lights you can do that you can secure it to the patio umbrella which i think will look really really nice and pretty now this is how the the umbrella looks when it's not expanded and then it also have these little neat little tabs that you can use to kind of secure it in place so that way it's not flopping in the wind as well and like i said it does come with a patio cover which is great especially for winter so you don't have to worry about your fabric fading or getting any damage to it at all so yeah so thank you to blue for sponsoring this portion of today's today's video they are giving all of my subscribers 10 percent off so i have their discount code listed down in the description box as well if you guys are interested okay you guys so let's continue on with today's video i just want to share with you real quick some of the items that i picked up for my front porch so i wanted some new containers to decorate my front porch i wanted something that's going to be looking that's going to look a little high end so i found these beautiful planters they are like a khaki color and whitewash finish and then they have a lot of texture i just love the detail on these planters they do come in a brown if you um are interested in that color as well but i picked up three so I got the small, medium, and large. So the two medium ones were $49.99 and then the smaller one was $29.99. So they're pretty nice size containers. So you can stuff them with a lot of plants. So I can't wait to get those planted up with some new uh, plants this spring. So I also needed a new wreath. So I thought this was really pretty. So I love the whimsical vibe that it has. I love that it has two different shades of purple on there. And then I love that it has two, uh, three, I think three different types of greenery that it has on there so usually in my outdoor space in my landscape i love decorating with pinks and purples as far as uh flowers and plants and things like that i just think it just screams spring and summer so that's what i'm going to be decorating outside now i did need to get a new accent rug so i found this one from the at home store as well it's 29.99 and this is a three by five when you're decorating your front porch or adding your doormats i always like to layer in a nice accent rug underneath my mat because it just makes it look a little bit more high end and then mats speaking of mats i got this mat from target way back in january it just says glad you're here very simplistic but i just love the simple vibe that it's given off so i'm just want to do like a nice clean simple look for my front porch 
and I'm going to be using my same lanterns that I used before. You guys have seen these. I absolutely love these lanterns. I just think that they look so high end. I can't remember if they're Studio McGee or not or Threshold brand, but they are from Target. I'll have them linked down in the description box below. But I have the larger one and the medium sized one, but they do come in a black color as well. Now I did pick up a new front porch sign. So I like this one. This one says, welcome friends. I got this one from Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby has all of their spring decor or tabletop decor, I believe 50% off. So the original price was $24.99. I think I ended up paying like $12.99 for it or something like that. So it's very affordable. And I love the colors it has on there, just nice, crisp and clean. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and create some planters for the front porch. So I picked up several plants from Lowe's. All of these plants are shade tolerant. My garden zone is garden zone 9B. So all of these will do well in our hardy to my zone. So we're gonna start with this beautiful succulent here. Now I don't know all the names by heart, so I'm gonna list every name across the screen. So if you guys are interested in these plants, you can go ahead and pick it up from your local nursery. But yeah, like I said, all of these are shade tolerant. They're gonna add a nice pop of color and then also some different textures. Some of these plants are trailing plants like this creeping genie here and then I also have some English ivy that I'm going to add in there so it can kind of give me like a dramatic look once they all are grown in. Here's another one of my favorite which is this lemon coral sedum which this plant does get big and it's very vigorous. I love it because it adds a nice pop of that chartreuse color. Then also I have this lime thyme coleus as well. So yeah, and then I also have one more plant, which is a, a beautiful gardenia tree that we're going to use to plant up the larger planter. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a smaller container here, and I'm just going to add in some potting soil. So I'm just going to fill it all the way up with the potting soil, and then I'm just going to go ahead and mix in a little bit of fertilizer to get my plants off to a good start. Now, as you've seen in the beginning of the clip, my porch is pretty much filtered sun. So none of these plants would be in direct sun because I do have a large tree on my front lawn. So all of the plants that I will be planting in these containers are shade tolerant because we don't get that much sun. It's like filtered sun. So yeah, so they should do well. But I'm going to start off how I do my containers is I like to start off with a centerpiece first. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be adding the succulent as my centerpiece because this plant tends to grow or climb up. So it hopefully it gives me that nice kind of stable um, straight look. And then I have all of the other plants to be filled in around it. So next I'm going to add in, in the charmed wine shine rock. And then this one is going to grow wide so that way it'll be um, give me some nice dimension to the size of the container. Now I don't have the exact sizes and measurements of how big these plants would get if you were to put them out in your landscape you'll have to look that information up but in this container you know everything is kind of constricted anyway because it is in a container but I'm hoping by the time the spring by the end of spring early summer that this container will be overflowing in beautiful flowers. So you see me adding the, sham, the wine shamrock to both sides of the container and then I added that lemon coral sedum kind of in the, um, the center. Now my planter does have drain holes at the bottom so that um, my soil will be able to drain really well without getting the roots too soggy. And then these containers you'll just have to make sure you water them every week or at least a couple of times a week depends on how hot it is in your area like i said i'm in zone 9b so sometimes i have to water my plants at least a couple of times a week and sometimes a couple of times a day depends on how hot it is down here but next i'm going to add in that ivy and then what i'm doing is i'm just taking um, some more dirt and kind of backfilling the back of the container and trying to fill in um, some any gaps that may need extra soil For my outside, I wanted to add in a pop of color to bring in the spring. So I thought that adding the purple and the yellows with a little bit of green would give a nice spring touch to my front porch.
Now this is the smaller container. So the one we just did was the medium sized container. So this is a smaller one. And then I'm gonna create that same combination that I just created be before, but just on a smaller version. So again, I'm starting with my centerpiece, which is this Calicoa succulent, which is, like I said, this is a really pretty flower. Now this, like I said, this is a succulent. So, you know, succulents don't like to be, don't like, like don't like to have a lot of water. So you have to make sure you water it when it's kind of, when the soil is dry to the touch. That way you're not getting the water, not, you, that way you're not exposing the roots to um, excessive water. But this plant is absolutely resilient. I love succulents. Succulents don't need a whole lot of work. You just have to make sure you um, read up on each plant and make sure that you are giving it its proper care. Now with this one, instead of adding the ivy, I'm gonna add in the creeping genie, the creeping creeping jenny, which is a trailing plant. So the English ivy and the creeping genie, they're all both are trailing plants, so they'll trail down the container so it kind of give you that really nice dramatic effect. And then again I'm just taking my soil and just backfilling and filling in any gaps to the back of the container or around the container where it needs a little bit more um, soil. So these are what the containers are looking like so far. And like I said, right now, it may not look like much because they still have to grow in, but that's okay. But once it grows in, it's gonna be really nice and full. So now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate or plant up the larger container. And I don't know the exact measurements of this container. I'll have it linked down in the description box below, but I'm gonna be adding this beautiful gardenia tree to this, um, to this planter. So right now you just see me filling it in with some more of that potting soil. And I'm also gonna add in some fertilizer to this planter as well. So I really wanted, I needed something tall to add to my um, front porch. I really wanted something that was like a topiary or a nice um, shrub or a tree. So I found this beautiful gardenia tree. I'll list the, I'll show you the little tag so you guys can see the variety. But um, yeah, I found this tree is gonna be blooming beautiful white flowers. It's very fragrant. I love gardenia trees. It just adds a really nice touch to your patio or your front porch. As you can see here, the roots are very root bound. So I was trying to loosen up some of the roots before I actually planted in the container. But this tree is absolutely gorgeous. I love that it's in the topiary form. Now gardenia bushes do um, come in like shrubs, like smaller shrubs, but I thought this one was really pretty because it came into like a topiary shape. So I thought this would look really pretty against my, um, my front porch. Now the gardenia bush or the gardenia tr shrubs in general are usually only hardy to zones eight through 11. So you make sure you wanna keep that in mind if you are interested in this plant. So ma mainly like the Southern region, mainly like the Southern regions. So I'm just adding some more dirt to the top just to make sure everything is filled in. And then I'm also gonna add in a few plants around the base of the tree as well. That's one good feature of actually adding a topiary to your patio or your front porch is you can also add plants and, to, and decorate the, around the rim of it as well to give you a nice look, a nice um, dramatic look as well. So I'm gonna be adding a few plants around the base. So I'm gonna start off with this lemon thyme or this lime thyme coleus, which 
if you have grown coleus in your yard coleus gets super massive so these plants just give you a huge bang for your buck and you only need one plant because trust me it's going to grow in really rampant and it's going to be just give you a really nice full effect so i'm going to add in one i'm going to add in two um lime thyme coleus to each side and then i'm going to add in one of those lemon coral sedum to um to this container as so well. So this is the variety of the gardenia plant and then it does take um, shade to part shade or partial sun to shade. So these are what the containers are looking like you guys. I absolutely love how they have turned out and I think that once they get a little bit more growth on them they're going to look gorgeous. So now we can go ahead and move them out to the porch and start decorating the space. Again, this is my um, front porch, so this is where all of the planters and everything is going to be going. As you can see, the light is pretty much filtered here, so I think those plants will do well in this space. Then also I'm going to share with you a planter that I created back in February, yeah, I believe in um, early March. Right after our last frost here in Houston, I created this container here and it has some really pretty lilies and then it has three types of coleus and it also has some of that English ivy in it as well. So it just gives off that really nice pop of um, color and everything for spring. Okay, you guys, so first I'm going to go ahead and add in my accent rug. One tip I can give you when you're decorating your porch is always want to layer in your look. So you want to start with an accent rug and then you want to place your doormat on top of it. It just gives it a nice high end look. Then next I'm going to add in my welcome sign that I picked up. I think this one looks really nice and clean and it matches my house perfectly. Next, I'm gonna add in all of those planters in that we created. When you're decorating with planters, you always wanna have a trio of three. I just think that decorating in odd numbers just gives it a nice looks vibe. And you always wanna have something tall as a centerpiece or something tall that kind of bring you, draw your eye up. So if you don't like topiaries, you can definitely add some boxwoods. You can de definitely add some evergreens as well. I think those all look really nice on um, front porches and patios. Next, I'm going to add in my wreath. And I just think it adds a really nice pop of color. And then for the final touch, I'm going to add in my lanterns that I got from Target. So this is the final look, you guys. I love how everything has turned out. If you enjoyed this video and you love gardening videos as well as home decor videos, make sure you give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps on my channel a lot. I thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.